So it looks like my boy Brian Callan is still involved in some sort of nonsense, unfortunately. This is an article from People. Um, I'm not too sure what the relevance of this article is. I'm, I'm sure they're just trying to kick the guy while he's down, which is annoying. I know he's done a lot of, you know, um, questionable things during, you know, the post side of his um, accusations that have been levied against him in terms of, you know, being uh, sexually inappropriate with some women and, uh, of course, the most serious of the allegations that he allegedly raped somebody. But the way he's handled it, of course, hasn't been the best. But, you know, some of the attacks in the media um, towards himself and people within the comedy scene, it just left a bit of a sour taste in the mouth because it doesn't seem like they're really trying to get justice. It just seems they're trying to kind of, you know, shit on somebody while they're down and essentially prop up a friend of theirs who they don't feel like is getting the love and the support that they need. And of course, that's probably not going to work in the long run but hey you know you got to do what you have to do so it's a headline or an article here from people it says husband of brian callan's rape accuser claims comedian is a danger to the entertainment industry brian callan cannot catch a bloody break so i'm guessing um mrs tiggerman's what husband is deciding to get out there put the story out there again in the hopes of what uh, inevitably maybe pressuring brian callan to retract his counter uh what, suing case whatever against him because obviously if you're familiar with the story um the person in question um wife accused brian callan of rape of course brian callan adamantly denied that in you know in the most brian callan way possible and then i'm assuming the husband then went out and started to do what most of these social justice people do where they kind of um, wage war on social media because they feel as if that's the only place they can kind of get some sort of justice of course because you know the the time has elapsed so much you know in the case that it's hard to really see a situation where brian callan spends any time behind jail so the best possible way this you know the next best option is to get him cancelled culturally in terms of you know getting rid of his dates getting him taken off shows getting development deals you know taken off the table whatever it may be and he went on the coal campaign doing that at the same time that everyone else was shitting on him really but i guess he was a bit more direct of it going and reaching out to comedy clubs directly calling them emailing them adding them on social and then brian decided it was right and it was a great decision for him to go and counter sue this guy and then the guy goes up and sets up a go find me to kind of fund his legal fees and it's a complete shit show right of course brian shouldn't have sued the guy in the first place just brought too much necessary attention to the issue but i understand in his case wanting to fight his corner and wanting you know um yeah went to fight his corner and not wanting his livelihood to be completely eviscerated um in his eyes uh, due to a uh what they called unfounded accusations but anyway we digress people article says the following gabriel tiggerman the husband of one of brian Callan's rape accusers is claiming the comedian is a danger to the entertainment industry <laughs> according to court documents obtained by people uh, gabriel's um responded to the lawsuit filed by Callan in september in which he claimed gabriel has created an ongoing campaign to destroy his livelihood via threats harassment and intimidation of third parties that they contact him now if i was you again i'm not too sure what relation this article writer Ali Malk has with Gabriel Tiggerman. But if I was an LA comedian, um, especially when the, yeah, mostly with the LA comedians, I'd be very worried because it looks like they, this art uh, this journalist actively went out and sought out the court documents pertaining to this issue in order to write this article. It wasn't like something they were presented or given or given a heads up on. They're actively trying to bring Brian Callan down and maybe as a consequence bring his friends down. So if you've got any skeletons in the closet and you're an LA stand-up comedian, you might want to get your affair in order because this person Ali Malk is coming for you it continues here um Gabriel is the husband of Catherine Fjortigerman, who accused Callan of raping her in 1999. Her story was reported by the Los Angeles Times earlier this year. In the documents, Gabriel says he wants to clarify that Miss Tigerman did not accuse Callan of raping her. Rather, she told the reporter that raped her that Callan raped her. She explained the circumstances that rape in detail and the reporter corroborated her account. Well, I don't understand that. Clarify. Miss Tigerman did not accuse. Okay, she's basically claiming outright that no, he actually did rape me. I'm not accusing him. It actually happened. Jesus Christ, they're coming out hard, innit? But I understand it. It's his wife, innit? You, know I mean? you got to ride or die with your lady, innit? There's no other explanation. There's no other thing that needs to be said, really. I understand it. Even if she's lying, you have to ride with her. And again, who knows if she's lying? Imagine she's telling the truth. Imagine if she's legitimately telling the truth and this actually happened. And Callan's going around performing shows, filming, flipping videos, doing podcasts and stuff. It's just really bad, innit? Again, but what what do you do? How do you deal with it? If you've been accused of something that you generally think you didn't do, how can you go about defending yourself, and especially nowadays? What do you do? Do you do a crystal and just 
um, re retreat from social life, from public life, sorry, and kind of, you know, just go back home and look after your kid and your, and your, and your wife, whatever it may be. Or do you do a Callan and announce a podcast, then take it back, then try and get on your own one, then step back again because your cast media on top of you. Oh, there's another story too. Supposedly, according to the homeless cats, um, Brian Callan is suing cast media, allegedly. That's what's been reported, um, you know, in the scene, behind the scenes, uh, you know, in the depths of Reddit. People are discussing that. I wonder if that's true. If that is true, that could be a very interesting development going forward. But anyway, we digress. Let's continue with the article. According to Callan's initial complaint, uh gabriel allegedly reached out to a slew of comedy clubs that had booked callan 53 through email on twitter along with tagging multiple comedy clubs gabriel tweeted september by booking at brian callan you are sending a very clear message that you support sexual abusers and don't believe the victims despite the highly vetted thoroughly researched articles that la times noted now don't get me wrong it's a little bit you know it's a little bit Karen-ish what he's doing, but I completely understand it. It's his wife, right? And the accusation or what she's alleging happened is very serious. And you'll go, you know, if I was, you know, he's a better man than I were, than I could be, right? If that was me and that was my wife, I'd be waiting outside a Brian Callan show so I could hit him over the head with a blimmed, with a steel pipe. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't give a shit. I'd, I'd, I'd happily do the bid for that. But, you know, I understand his approach. But this makes a lot more sense than somebody like a Seth Simons, right? That guy that's always going out trying to get um, comedians cancelled and stuff, right? He just seems like a guy that's, a, you know, immensely unhappy with whatever life that he's living at the moment. And he spends his entire time covering comedians and trying to pick apart every misstep that they do in order to somehow bring their career to a stumbling or grinding hole. And so far, it hasn't really worked, has it? There's no one he's actually cancelled successfully. Of course, you know, his most famous one might have been the St. Saint, Gillis Saint stuff that happened with his kind of questionable uh, racial slur that he kind of dropped during a podcast that didn't really, you know, resonate that well with people and he kind of got taken off of SNL. But for the most part, it hasn't really cancelled somebody. Because when I think of cancelling, I think of somebody's career coming to a grinding halt. No more shows for you. You're done. You're out of here. It's over. Like a Harvey Weinstein, he's cancelled, right? If, even if he comes out of prison, I don't see what he could legitimately do in the entertainment industry. You know, it's going to be closed doors wherever he goes. I don't know, man. Again, that being said, LA Hollywood people are weird, man. I'm sure they'd want to work with him behind the scenes and not just be pictured around of him. I don't know. But anyway, this makes more sense than Seth Simons, completely honest. Um, it continues here. Oh, there's more tweets from him. Jeez, he went hard. He kept them up too. He hasn't deleted the tweets. Big up him. So he continues, um, in his response, Gabriel denied most of the claims made by Callan, though he did admit to communicating with various comedy clubs and expressing his opinion that the comedy clubs which provide the plaintiff with a pr pr platform to perform his comedy would by doing so send a message that they support a sexual abuser. So that's the thing. So why could why does Callum think this is a good idea to sue him? Because what are you suing him for? Because that's his opinion, right? I don't think there's anything liable in there. There's nothing slanderous. It's his assumption based on the events that's happening in public, especially because it concerns his own wife, that he thinks that it's not a good idea for his comedy clubs to book him. That's just an opinion of one dude. That's why I said at the beginning when I heard uh, Callum was counter suing or suing this guy for defamation, whatever it may be, that it was such a bad move. And it just goes to show how insulated and detached from reality brian callan is in this issue because in my opinion he's trying to do all of these things in order to kind of save his career and i've always said from the beginning his career is over hollywood is very um reactionary like that right when you get accused of something it's very rare unless the internal investigation took place and it completely exonerated you it's pretty much impossible for you to be welcomed with open arms into the hollywood industry especially if you're somebody that wasn't well liked prior right because a lot of the cancellations happen to people some of the cancellations i'd say happen to individuals who weren't that well liked in the industry so the cancellations are seen as like a good excuse to kind of get them out of the way but even if you are that well liked, right? No one wants the hassle. No one wants the disruption. No one wants their, you know, the money that they've invested being affected by a question being raised around an allegation that you didn't respond to in two thousand, whatever it may be. It's just not worth it. So most production companies, most studios will just be like, you know what, um, you know, um, arms distance approach. You can work with us maybe behind the scenes, writing or helping out in consultancy. But in terms of getting in front of the camera, never happening. So in my opinion. Instead of going around trying to sue people and, you know, putting on shows behind closed doors, he should be trying his best to clear his name. 
in any way, shape, or he can do, so that he can return back onto the fire and the kid, because that shows suffering because of his, you know, um, because of him not being there. And that's the best place where he can actually show his skills. I think at the moment, doing that conspiracy show with Sam Tripoli, although it's great, and although Sam Tripoli is a fucking legend because he's the only guy in the industry or in that little comedy scene that actually backed Callan and came out and actually supported him in public and went, you know, out of the way to actually step in front of the camera and sit beside him, knowing what that could do to his own career. He could, he's absolutely, you know, he should be, you know, always looked at as a legend regardless of what he does you know going forward he's always going to be in my good books in that regard an absolute solid dude legend i still think brian's best platform is the fire and the kid like your olympic even if you're not a fan of brendan shaw they work great together right they're a great duo great tandem and not having them around in the podcasting climate at the moment it's just a bit of a shame especially once covid gets out of the way because i think of course a lot of the issues that i had the podcast came around the times when covid is around and all the comedy clubs are closing they just really rubbed up the wrong way both brian cannon and brenda they just you know were dealing or saying some very ignorant things concerning the virus and being very dismissive of it mostly because it affected their livelihood understandable but you know annoying once covid gets out of the way and we have a vaccine that show would be a great platform for brian cannon to reach to you know showcase his comedic um skills so all of this is really unnecessary and he's really brought it upon himself you know of course if the allegations are true he definitely brought it upon himself and even if they're inc- even if they're not true the fact that he would go out and sue um the husband of rape accuser optics wise just looks really really bad especially in the social justice world it continues here a rep for Callan did not immediately respond to people's requests or comment, and Gabriel's attorney declined. Uh, Gabriel's attorney, sorry, declined to comment. Callan's complaint alleges that Gabriel has engaged in a relentless campaign to um, economic interference against Mr. Callan as a revenge for something Mr. Callan did not do. Mr. Tegman's apparent objective um, is to have. Mr. Callan blacklisted, destituted, and never work again. But that's already happening, my guy. I'm not sure why he's doing this. And again, it's just unnecessary expenses don't he just enough to like worry about in terms of looking after his family that he has to kind of file these court documents but again maybe he's looked after and he doesn't really care but hey in the document showing his response gabriel denies those allegations except insofar as to admit his belief that sexual abusers like a plaintiff should not be welcome to work in the entertainment industry both because of their danger they pose and the public message such as works uh, such as the public welcome such a welcome would send okay i get it um, in addition to his response, Gabriel requested that the judge dismiss him from this action with prejudice and that Callan award him with the attorney's fees. He also requested a jury trial. <laughs> Mate, Gabriel Tickerman is not playing around. He's willing to go to the absolute empty. Imagine if flipping Callan takes a stand against, like, this is so bad. He might, where's his friends? Where's Callan's friends to tell him they should just re- retract this case and just try and fight um, against the allegation and try and, you know, prove himself innocent? Like, what is he doing? In July, Callum was accused of sexual assault or, mis- or misconduct by Catherine and three other women, right? Three other women, Rachel Green, Tiffany King and, and Claire against her. All detailed allegations in LA Times. As Callum denied them, let me be very clear, da, 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 as you said. But this person has a real boner for Brian Callum and people in the comedy scene. So again, if you've got some skeletons in the closet, be very cautious. But I'm interested to know your thoughts, man, people out there. like, What do you guys think? Um, has Brian made a rod for his own back? Did he fuck up his own situation? Or is he within his rights to be fighting his corner as as, as vehemently as he's fighting it now at the moment in order to kind of clear his name in a roundabout way? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts.